Hey guys, welcome to English Made Simple. This is episode 44, numero 44. Hola guys, my name is Milena from EnglishMadeSimple.net, EnglishMadeSimple.net and I've got another episode for you guys that's full of goodies, full of awesome tips. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to listen to this show. <laughs> that's all it takes, amigos, 15 minutes a day to learn and refresh your memory, which reminds me... I better start listening to some Spanish podcasts. My Spanish skills are deteriorating. I have to keep practicing. So, I hope uh, your weekend has been great so far. I, on the other hand, had a busy week. Uh, my washing machine broke down and my mobile screen broke as well. I've been busy dealing with that and had to buy a new washing machine. So many unexpected expenses this weekend. Look, before I start, I'd um, also like to say something that's currently in the news at the moment. And I'm not talking about the elections in the United States. I couldn't care less about the elections. What I'd like to say is that I have listeners from all over the world, as well as the Bahamas and the Caribbean. In light of the recent news about the Hurricane Matthew causing devastation in these areas, I'd like to say that my heart goes out to the people of Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba, and the rest of the islands affected by the Hurricane Matthew. Please be careful and keep safe if you have to evacuate. Okay, I just feel like I had to say something there. Now, let's continue with this episode. I'd like to teach you about um, the phrase used to. That's two words, use, usar, and preposition to, okay, used to in the past tense. Use is a regular verb. Past tense is used. And uh, when use and to are used together, they create a new meaning. Don't you love English language? Just when you thought, oh, wow, I get it now. I understand. Boom, it slaps you across the face and you go back to where you started, which was confusion. <laughs> But don't worry, be happy. Once you learn the basics of English, the rest will fall into place and you will just get used to English, all right? So keep listening and keep reading in English. Every bit counts. So guys, today we are going to learn two phrases. To be used to something and used to do something. Okay, two phrases using the common phrase used to. And why is this important to know? Well, in the conversational English, you will be using it often when you start talking about yourself, okay? You know, when I first came to Chile, the hardest thing for me was to learn the slang. Chilenos speak slang all the time. When I was learning Spanish back in Australia, I didn't learn slang. It wasn't there in my Spanish for beginners book. <laughs> no sorry. And it took a little bit longer for me to get used to uh, the Chilean slang. But now, estoy cachando. <laughs> That's uh, Chilean for estoy entendiendo. I understand. <laughs> right. Now let's get cracking. Let's learn about the first phrase. To be used to something. If you are used to something, you are accustomed to it. You don't find it unusual. You are just accustomed to it. If you get used to something or you are getting used to something, you are becoming accustomed to it. Look, just have this in mind. Here's a tip for you guys. When you want to use the phrase used to, think about something that was strange before but now it's not so strange anymore. Like, for example, I found Japanese food very strange at first, but I am used to it now. Or I found it really strange to drive on the right-hand side, but now I'm used to it. Excellent. Right. Uh, one more tip for you. 
both of these phrases, be used to and get used to, they mean the same thing, are followed by a noun or a pronoun, like or the gerund, which is the ing form of the verb. For example, I can't get used to getting up so early. I am tired all the time. Or he's not used to the weather here yet. He's finding it very cold. When we talk about used to or get used to, we can then use this in the past, present and future tenses. Example, uh, when you move to Australia, you might find it strange at first seeing spiders and hearing about shark attacks, but you will soon get used to it. That's in the future. <laughs> you will soon get used to it. Right, I hope that makes sense. Uh, I started off with an easy one. To be used to, to get used to, means you're accustomed to it. What about uh, the other meaning of used to? When you used to do something in the past. Used to means something used to happen in the past regularly, but it no longer happens. For example, I used to live in New Zealand, but now I live in Australia. <laughs> I used to live in New Zealand, but now I live in Australia. And guess what? Here's a little tip. The phrase used to do something is always in the past. There is no present form. You cannot say I use to do. <laughs> to talk about the present, as in what you do now, we use the present simple tense. When we talk about hobbies, for example, hmm, sounds like a good episode for English Made Simple. Hmm, maybe next one. Who knows? Okay, guys, another thing you should know about this phrase is we use used to for something that was true, but it is not true anymore. Here's two examples. I used to think my husband was unfriendly and arrogant, but now I realize he's a very nice person. Hmm, interesting. It's a lie. <laughs> My friend has uh, started drinking hot chocolate recently. She never used to like it before. Mm -hmm. Often people make the mistake of spelling the phrase uh, used to. And this applies to the native speakers as well, not just the English learners. The native speakers often make mistakes with spelling. The spelling mistakes are very common, so you shouldn't feel bad when you do make a spelling mistake, unless you're sitting an exam, in which case you will have to pay special attention to the spelling, okay? Normally, native speakers make spelling mistakes. They make them all the time. Since it's such a subtle sound of the past and the present tenses used to and use to, people will always spell it in the past tense. They will always spell it in the past tense form, not following the rules of grammar. So, when forming a question, we would have to change the verb from its past tense form to infinitive, from used to use, and then we add the to, the to, the preposition. Let's see how we can ask a question using used to and how we can answer it in the negative form. Let's consider this sentence. I used to play guitar when I was young. Solía tocar la guitarra cuando era joven. I used to play guitar when I was young. The question form of this would be, did you use to play guitar when you were young? Mm-hmm. It's very subtle. Did you use to play guitar when you were young? The negative form is No, I didn't use to play guitar when I was young. I used to play violin. Hmm. So we use used to to talk about things that happened in the past and that no longer happen now, right? And we also learned that to get used to something means to be accustomed to it or to get accustomed to it. Now over to you guys. I want to ask you a question. What did you used to do when you were young? Hmm? And you should start answering the question with something like with something like this. I used to 
and then fill in the blanks. So the question was, what did you used to do when you were young? Cool, awesome, we are approaching the end of the show. Thank you for joining me, guys. You were awesome, as always. If you enjoyed this episode of English Made Simple Podcast, please share it with your friends who may also find it helpful as well. And secondly, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this show on iTunes. It will really help me spread the message. And I would also love it if you leave a nice review in iTunes so that I can continue delivering awesome shows to help you learn English on the go. Excellent! And remember, all transcriptions are available on my website, englishmadesimple.net. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. It's been a pleasure. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, arrivederci. Ciao!